Hey guys, this is Mosquito, also known as Chris, and today I'm taking a look at a box that I got along with a 45 and some other various parts. So this was a plane that I bought mm, about a week ago now, depending on when you watch the video, I guess. Week of week ago as of filming. Um, it came with a set of number eight Holland rounds, along with a couple of other accessory irons you can kind of see back in here some of those accessory irons here's those hollows and rounds and the number 45 plane and it also came with a box but i don't actually have a 72 and a half so it's empty <laughs> if anybody has a use for it or has a 72 and a half that they need a box for one of the parts for let me know anyway this is the box, and this is what I was going to be looking at today. Um, I didn't build it. This was something that it came with, and I'm guessing it was built by not the previous owner, but the owner that originally had this plane. All these corners have box joints, finger joints, whatever you want to call them. I don't really care for them. I don't think they look that good, but they certainly are strong, so you can't fault them for that. Now the lid is sort of a two-piece lid design. It's kind of got a an inner lid and an outer lid. And this inner lid here is made by, let's see, where's a good, here we go. So you can kind of see the inner lid is mostly just kind of butt joints. And you can see how they overlap these in all the different directions um, so one is always going over the next one so that makes it super easy to make because you can just put it together and then cut off the ends at wherever they need to be and then this inner lid is a solid piece that's just nailed in place and that is um, just nailed to the outer lid uh, I guess would be the easiest way of describing it. Um, it had fallen off when I got it in shipping, so that's how I know. <laughs> um, then as you can see here, one of these joints is sort of separating again. That was some damage due to shipping and I kind of put it back together, but not really, just because I didn't want to go too far with it at the moment. I don't know how well fitting that was before I bought it anyway. So these are just mitered joints. And then on the lid, it's just three pieces of wood that have all been kind of, I'm guessing they weren't, well, maybe they were glued together. This is not a very good glue joint anymore, but looks like they must have been glued together um, originally. But otherwise that's just kind of, you know, all part of the lid. I don't know if it's nailed together necessarily or if this is all glued to the lid. I haven't really looked into it that far, but. Um, and then on the inside, there's some tills uh, for the irons. Here's one of them. And I say tills for the irons, but these are actually just the original 45 cutter boxes um, screwed into place. And you can kind of see Maybe you can kind of see weird angle, but it's down in there. One of the screws, and then the other one is over here. And then the same thing on the other side, a lot easier to see. We have one of the screws over here, and then one over there. And these just go through the sides of the box. And that's what holds those in place. And unfortunately, there's also a nail I don't know if you'll be able to see down in there, but there's a nail down in there that goes through from the outside and into this piece to hold it in place, which is doing a pretty good job. I mean, it's pretty solid, so I'm not too worried about it falling out, but unfortunately that means I can't put an iron there. Anyway, this is all open underneath and um, that's just kind of a floating shelf. And then this center piece on mine was originally about here, but as you can see, also had some 
issues in transit, so I have to repair that as well. But that's just a divider over here. And when I got it and the pictures that they had when I bought it, they had the Holland round bases over here. And again, they would fit a little bit better. I mean, they fit pretty much in there the way it is, but the thing is that with that divider slightly screwed up, don't quite fit perfectly on this end, but that's what that was for. So I'm guessing they probably only ever had the one set when they had it, but I guess that can always be remedied later. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Um, similar to the top, there's three boards that make up the bottom. Let me get some of these. Also, something of note, they beveled the inside of all of these so that you could kind of get them on the irons a little bit easier because otherwise it's kind of difficult to get those on, as you might imagine. And watch, I put it on backwards. Yep. There we go. And then same thing over here. And this one doesn't quite fit that perfectly. And that's because of this iron. I don't think necessarily belonged in there, but oh well. But yeah, basically that probably wasn't the right iron for that. So these don't exactly fit the greatest, but oops, I forgot about that. Forgot that this is missing a nail. So that's broken. Close this. Here you can see the bottom is just a couple of boards put together and then nailed across the ends. Um, let's see, the back is about as you would expect. There's usually not a whole lot else to this one. Um, yeah, so I guess this was kind of just a quick video tour of it. I have plans to get a little bit more in depth with it later, though I probably won't do that on video simply because I don't really have a whole lot that I really feel like I need to show on video beyond this. But if you want to see more of this in video, let me know. Um, it wouldn't be hard, <laughs> obviously. I have all of the stuff I need take care of that. Um, so yeah, I guess for now, I will leave it at that and I will catch you guys later. So thanks for watching.